What's going on everyone? Dan Murphy here and today in this video I'm going to be talking about just kind of the, the cryptocurrency market in general. Um, we've been seeing a lot of big moves in this market. There's been a lot of gains across a lot of different coins and it's just really a, just a really exciting time in general right now to be involved with cryptocurrency. Um, we've seen um, the dramatic increase in value of Bitcoin is, and not to mention a lot of other coins um, we've seen Litecoin in particular has gone up quite a bit in the past couple of days. Not so much right now, but I'm just going to kind of go through kind of the top coins and look at some of the you know, the most uh, dramatic increases in price and um, just kind of the coins that I think should be um, should be on your radar moving forward going into 2018. So uh, just general market, uh, the state of the market right now, um, we're at a total market cap of about $582 billion which I believe is all-time highs for the cryptocurrency market. Um, we've, I don't think we've ever seen a market cap at this high, so we're, at, we're over half, half a trillion dollars. We are almost at $600 billion overall, and we're getting closer and closer to that $1 trillion mark, which would be a massive uh, milestone for, for cryptocurrencies in general. So taking a look at Bitcoin right now, we're sitting at about $19,348 with about... Uh, 9.6 percent gains in the past 24 hours so we are almost at all-time highs of 20,000 for Bitcoin so Bitcoin still holding strong I still think Bitcoin is a reasonable investment to make long term and I totally think it's reasonable that we could hit you know as much as 40k um, you know going into 2018 and early 2018 uh, very likely to hit 40k or even 50k and I think long term, the next couple of years, it's also reasonable to expect that we could get as high as 100K. I really don't think that is unreasonable for Bitcoin, considering the gains that we've seen over the past year. Um, okay, so let's take a look at some of the most notable ones here. So Cardano. Cardano is one that uh, I had faith in this coin. I had invested in this coin a couple of weeks ago when it was somewhere around 13 cents. It has gained um, quite a bit of value since then. Is you know, about 90% gains in the past 24 hours and, you know, almost tripled in price, excuse me, almost tripled in price since uh, that the first time, first time I invested around 13 cents. So uh, definitely feeling good about that, investing in Cardano. And um, I think there's definitely still more room for it to grow. Um, okay, let's see. 99% gains for Tron. That's pretty massive. Um, let's take a look at Tron here. What's going on with Tron? 99% gains. That's pretty massive. So actually, uh, I pulled up the Tron website to just kind of go over, you know, what, what, what's going on with this, with this cryptocurrency. So currently ranked 16 overall, about 313,000 users, which is pretty good. You want to have, you know, some, some more wide scale usage and adoption of this coin. All right. So as they describe it. Tron is a blockchain-based decentralized protocol that aims to construct a worldwide free content entertainment system with the blockchain and distributed storage technology. This protocol allows each user to freely publish, store, and own data, and in a decentralized and autonomous form, decides the distribution, subscription, and push of contents, and enables content creators by releasing, circulating, and dealing with digital assets, thus forming a decentralized content entertainment ecosystem. Uh, they have something called the PWO app, which has over 10 million users and will become the first Tron-compatible entertainment app. Okay, so basically they're trying to create um, just a decentralized entertainment platform. And they have this app called PWO, where, I mean, I don't know this for sure, but I'm guessing that there's going to be ways for content creators to be rewarded with the Tron token and the Tron token will be a means of exchange on these entertainment platforms where you can have content creators and people consuming the content kind of exchanging Tron in a kind of a, a value-based entertainment ecosystem is, is the way they describe. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Tron, I mean, it's seen massive gains in the past couple of days. I mean, I, it was it was over 100% earlier today when I checked. Right now it's about 99%, but that's basically 100% gains in the past couple of days and Tron is still relatively cheap right now trading at about 3.8 cents so it might be worth it to pick up some Tron um, you might want to wait until there's a slight dip in the market 
uh, it's generally not the best idea to be buying at all-time highs because then um, if there is some type of a price drop, you do end up losing money in that exchange. But definitely keep an eye on Tron because it has been having some massive gains in the past couple of days. All right, let's see. Look at some of the other options here. Actually, I'll tell you what. One, one thing that's pretty cool about CoinMarketCap is we can actually we can organize based on the percent change. So, okay, now we're organized based on which coins have had the largest gains in the past 24 hours. And we can see Verge right now, 201% gains. That's pretty insane. Let's take a look at Verge and see what's going on with this crypto. Jeez, 200% gains is pretty wild. Okay, Verge is trading about 6%. Okay, our... I was looking at coin market cap only a few hours ago and verge was three cents. So it is literally doubled in price in just a matter of hours. It went from about a hundred percent gains to now we're at 238% gains, which is just absolutely insane. It's just really, really crazy. What's been happening in cryptocurrencies lately. So, um, let's take a look at the verge website. I already have it pulled up here, but one thing that's cool about coin market cap is, uh, they have the website listed for any particular coin, so if you do want to do some more background research on a coin, you can access the website right here, but I already have it opened up in this tab. Okay, so Verge. Verge is a secure and anonymous cryptocurrency built with a focus on privacy. Okay, so this is another privacy coin. Um, there's other privacy coins out there, like you have um, Monero is a privacy coin, uh, Bytecoin is another privacy coin, I think Dash is also um, it has that privacy aspect you can send and receive transactions anonymously so I mean it's not like Verge is doing anything d different than these other privacy coins that I'm aware of so I'm curious as to why it has increased in value so much so let's see completely an anonymous privacy focus great support from the community ultra fast transactions okay so transaction time that could be something saying that transaction speeds are ultra fast compared to other coins um, their simple payment verification technology allows average transaction times confirmations to be approximately five seconds so i mean that's that's pretty good um i'd have to compare it to monero or dash and um bitcoin i'm not exactly sure what the transaction times are for those other coins and how it would compare to verge but i mean five seconds seems pretty good um let's see active development team so they're making the claim that this is ready for mass adoption, saying that Verge offers a wide array of secure wallets for multiple operating systems, and the revolutionary Tor Android wallet offers mobile anonymity, which is a unique feature among privacy-oriented coins. Okay, so I guess they have their they have a companion mobile app, and this this mobile app is kind of what differentiates them from some of the other privacy coins in the market. This this Tor Android wallet. Um, I do, me personally, I don't, I don't have an Android phone. I have an iPhone, so I don't know if they have this wallet available for iOS. If it's not available for iOS, uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of beat in that regard. But if you do have an Android phone, this would be an option for you. If you were interested in, um, you know, taking a deeper look into Verge, possibly investing and getting some, some Verge tokens yourself, you would have that option for the, the Android mobile wallet. Okay. So mobile apps, pretty cool. So, I mean, that's Verge. Um, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this coin. I have not invested in this personally, uh, nor have I invested in Tron. Um, but definitely going to be keeping an eye on these coins, just considering the fact that they've had those massive gains in, uh, in the past 24 hours. Definitely something to keep an eye out on. And um, again, in general, I don't really think it's the best idea to be buying at these all-time highs. That's not always the case because, I mean, with Verge, like I, I saw this earlier today, Verge was at 100% gains. And it went up from about 100% gains to 200% gains. So, you know, in that instance, you would have been rewarded for buying in at these highs. Um, so, again, I don't think in general it's not, I wouldn't consider it best practice as far as fundamental investing goes to just buy in at these all-time highs. Because, you know, if, if the price does drop, which it inevitably will drop, you can't always go up in these markets. There will be these, there will be dips, there will be downtrends, you will see times where they're in the red. And that's actually a great time to buy because you're essentially just getting it at a discounted price. 
Uh, let's see. Let's take a look here. So we already saw Verge, 200%. Okay, Dogecoin. Now, I actually, I did a video on Dogecoin a couple days ago where I was talking about um, just, just kind of discussing the various merits of whether or not this is even a legitimate investment opportunity and it would be worth it to invest in this coin. Now, in, the, in that particular video, I said that I do believe it is a legitimate investment opportunity, but I was saying that, that me personally, I am not invested in Dogecoin and I wasn't really planning on investing, I mean, anytime soon, but I, I did acknowledge that I, th I think there is there is an opportunity to actually, uh, you know, make some money with Dogecoin. And I mean, just look at these recent gains. Doge is up 57%. So, I mean, those are pretty significant gains. So, I mean, if you did invest, if you invested in Dogecoin, you know, a week ago or a couple days ago, you would be pretty happy about, about that investment. I mean, Doge, I I'm pretty sure we're actually, these are at all-time highs for Dogecoin. You know, we're at almost at uh, 60% of one cent, which it doesn't seem like a lot. But considering the history of Dogecoin, I don't think I don't think Doge has ever even reached the point of being one cent. So uh, I'll take a look at the um, the chart here just to just to get an idea. But yeah, we're we're at all time highs for Dogecoin right now. This is the highest it's ever been. So we're we're almost at one cent, which would be a pretty big benchmark for Dogecoin. But the real the real kicker of this is that I mean. Let's take a look at the seven day chart here. So, I mean, you would have like doubled your money, potentially even more than doubled your money if you, so if you invested a week ago when we were at about this point, point two four cents, we'll call it. So it's, it's at, a, at a fraction of one cent. So at about 24 to 25% of, of one cent. And now we're at about, 58% of one cent. So, I mean, you would have more than doubled your money if you had invested in Dogecoin a week ago. So, I mean, I don't think we're going to see gains like this all the time. But, um, I mean, obviously, <laughs> there have been some serious gains in the past couple days. So, the opportunity is there. It is definitely there. And, you know, there's a part of me that's kind of thinking, you know, maybe I should have invested in Dogecoin. But, you know, I'm not... I'm not going to bum out out of potentially missing out on these gains because I feel like it's very likely that uh, there will be some kind of a, some kind of a dip. It'll go down again and it'll just be a better opportunity to buy. But who knows? I mean, maybe Dogecoin is just <laughs> headed straight for the moon. You know, there's really no way to know for sure. But I mean, impressive gains for Dogecoin. I'll, I'll say that. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it up for Dogecoin. Massive gains, all-time highs for Dogecoin. Wow, just what a time. What a time to be alive when Dogecoin is doubling in value and all these other cryptos are increasing in value from anywhere from you know 50 to 100%. Not to mention uh, so many other coins that are going up you know, 20%, 25 30%, still massive gains. Let's take another look at the um, just all the, the most, the top gainers in the market, you know, 99, 89, 86, 70% across all these different coins. Cardano is doing great. I still feel I still feel that Cardano would be a great investment to make long term. Dogecoin, 57%, beating out all these other you know serious serious projects. But um, some other coins I want to mention. Um, so you know, Psycoin, Bytecoin, and Substratum were all other. These are other altcoins that that I think would be good investment opportunities going into 2018 and um you know i think i'm actually i might i may go ahead and make another video that's more specifically about which altcoins i'm investing in why i think they're good investments and you know just kind of give you my top top coins that would be good investment opportunities moving into 2018 but yeah that pretty much uh sums up everything that i want to get into in this video um so again, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you learned something, you thought this information was useful, um, I'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more cryptocurrency-related content. And uh, yeah, just things are looking great for crypto. Definitely, definitely some some really exciting things going on. And I honestly believe that this is really just the beginning. We've already seen massive gains in the cryptocurrency market, and we are still in the beginning stages of this. The whole 
cryptocurrency revolution and really exciting stuff. But all right, with that, I will, I will conclude this video and hope you have a great day and peace out.